It's a 4x4 four four space. The middle four squares cut away and replaced by a piece of balsa to allow a cavity to put in the clockwork. You can see on this close-up that the top layer is a piece of plastic sturdy enough to hold miniatures and once it's removed you can see the clockwork most of the components are made from the cheap two dollar spirograph cogs there's a little bit of a balsa wheel as well and some chain it's been painted black underneath to give the extra impression of depth within the pit here you can see an overview of the spaces there's 12 traps on the perimeter, so a D12 can be rolled to determine which one is firing off at any particular time. Uh, here's a close-up of some of those components. So let's load up the base as if we're playing a game of Warhammer Quest, surrounded by a few Skaven. That's not our only troubles, of course. Uh, as we zoom in here, you see most of the party's safe on the centre square. But one of the warriors and a few of the Skaven are on these outside sections. So at the start of each turn, one of these could be triggered, and either flames will leap up from underneath the tile, or four spikes protruding from inside the tile will trigger up through the feet of the enemy or the player. Here's a close-up of the tile. You can see uh, I've avoided highlighting around the closest point and use a bit of ink to make it look like the tar or pitch residue from the flames has been left behind. <laughs> 